For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys. The, this problem says determine the moment of the force F about point zero and express the result as a Cartesian vector. So, you know that the moments at O from this force can be calculated by doing the cross product of where the tail of the vector is the position vector where the tail of the vector is from the point where you're trying to calculate the moment cross the Cartesian vector form of the force so you gotta find this vector OB and do the cross product with OB and F remember in this order because if you flip them around you get a different answer so First we need OB and then we need, uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find all the points involved. So we got O, point B is involved and point C is involved, A is not really involved. So O sits at the origin, plus C, OK, B sits at 1I plus 4j plus 2k and c sits at 5i plus 0j plus 0k so ob is b minus o o is the origin so this is equal to b and b is 1i plus 4j plus 2k now we need to find the Cartesian vector form of F and to do that we need to find first the vector that goes from B all the way to C. This is equal to C minus B and it is equal to 4i minus 4j minus 2k. Now that you have the Cartesian vector form of B going to C you need to find its magnitude. The magnitude is given by the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. You plug in these three numbers into this formula and you get that the magnitude of BC comes out to be exactly 6. Now you need to find the univector BC, which is this tiny vector right here with a magnitude of 1 and it's given by dividing the vector VC by its magnitude. So you divide each of these three numbers by six and you get the univector. The univector comes out to be 0.667i minus 0.667j minus 0.333k. This univector multiplied by the magnitude of f gives you the Cartesian vector form of f. So f is equal to the magnitude of f which is given at 120 pounds times the univector bc. So 120 multiplied by these three numbers gives you the Cartesian vector form of f which comes out to be 80i minus 80j minus 40k. Is an eight. Okay. So we got the Cartesian vector form of F and we got OB. So the sum of the moments at O, I mean, sorry, the moments at O created by uh, F is given by the cross product of OB cross F. The way you calculate it is you draw your matrix A, I, I mean J, K, O, B first and it's 1, 4, 2 and then F which is 80, negative 80 and negative 40. 
So the next thing you do is you rewrite your first and second columns. 1, 4, 80, negative 80. And then you do your diagonals. So these are positive diagonals. Positive, positive, positive. So i times 4 times negative 40 is negative 160i. j times 2 times 80 is positive 160j. k times 1 times negative 80 is negative 80k. Now you're going to do your negative diagonals, which is this one, this one, and this one. So for the k is 80 times 4 times k, which comes out to be 320, but it's a negative, so negative 320k. I like to write them down already uh, below the, the, the same uh, univector form, that way you can easily add them up later. So the second one is negative 80 times 2 times i, which will be negative 160, but it's negative, so it's positive 160i. 60i, and I write it right below the other i. And negative 40 times 1 times j is negative 40j, but it's negative, so it's positive 40j. So now you draw this line, and you can basically add them up. This one is negative 400k. This one is 200j, and this two cancel out, negative 160 and positive 160. So this is the final answer. Let me write it a little bigger over here. 200j minus 400k. These are the moments uh, O that F creates. Final answer. And one last thing, this is uh, pounds per feet. I forgot to tell you that. Because OB is in feet and the force is in pounds. So now final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.